And, you know, I think they want to try and make a deal with us, but I'm not sure. Because the word is, I feel, they want to wait till they get, oh, they're praying. They're praying. They would like to see a new president in a year and a half so they could continue to rip off the United States like they've been doing for the last 25 years. They would love to see a guy like Sleepy Joe Biden, who has no clue what the hell he's doing. They'd say to Sleepy Joe, sir, just sign right there. Oh, okay. I'll sign. We've been losing hundreds of billions of dollars a year to China. It has to stop, and they understand that. President Xi is a good man. He's a Pocahontas. And she's mean, isn't she? Do you see the do you see the anger on her face? That nervous energy? She's like, oh, jumping up and down. She's a mess. But she, no, no, she's mean, right? Right? See that face is just she wanted to get him. She said, I get him. I want to see those agreements. I, you open up those agreements. This poor guy probably signed a hundred of them. And and each one's a disaster. He said, I don't want to open those agreements. Nobody told me this was gonna happen. Said, actually, said, nobody told me. Get me out of here. You know, after the debate, he went backstage, fired a lot of people. He said, how the hell did you get me into this thing? But anyway, but Pocahontas was really mean. But she's going to be easy. I hope it's her. It's not going to be her. She made a little comeback the other night because she took Minnie Mike to the cleaners. But it's not going to be her. It can't be Buttigieg. Can't be, I don't think. Alfred E. Newman. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing President Alfred E. Newman. But see, nobody knows because you're all too young. Nobody knows who Alfred e. It's Mad Magazine. They all said, no, howdy doody. See, nobody knows who Alfred E. Newman is. Only the real aficionados, they're the ones and they love it. But that's only 15% of the crowd, right? Am I right? Better than Howdy Doody and Howdy Doody. But he's got to learn, you know, he's got to worry about his own city. It's going to hell, so he's got to worry because that city's got a lot of problems. I don't get, I don't get the whole thing, but he's not a bad debater, I will say. He's probably the best up there. Bernie is too emotional. He's screaming, going crazy. And Biden is angry. Biden is angry. Everything's anger. Gee. And that's what happens when you can't get the words out. No, it does. That's what happens, right? When you can't get the words out, you get angry. You get angry because you can't get the words out. Might happen to me someday. Can you imagine if that happened to me? Man, would I be a bad guy? I'd be the meanest man in history. No, but Biden is very angry. You know, he gets angrier and angrier and angrier. He's changed. And then you have that time, yeah, he said Tom Steyer. Tom said, Mr. Impeachment, how did that work out, Tom? Thank you very much for the great poll numbers between him and Nervous Nancy. How did that work out? This schmuck spends $250 million he ends up with one-third of a percent in Iowa, but maybe, the, you know, that could be rigged because they still don't have any idea what he got. Maybe he won Iowa, they took it away from him. No, but he was uh, substantially below. It said, all I know, it said one percent and an arrow left. So he spends 250 million, Tom Steyer, never heard of this guy. Who is he? Where did he get his money? Who is he? You know, he was in the coal business, did you know that? This guy, this phony is a big environmentalist. He made his money a lot of it in the coal business. Nobody knows that, but he's a fake. Remember when he walked up to Bernie the other day? Hi, Bernie. Hi. Oh, and he was having a fight with Pocahontas, right? Is this the greatest? Mark Burnett said, this is the greatest reality show in history. He said, you can take The Apprentice, and you can take Survivor, and you can take every other reality show ever made, multiply it times 10,000, and you still don't have what we have. And even the cast, he did say this, 
You got the perfect president. You got the perfect first lady. How about the first lady? <laughs> <laughs>